A trailer for the Borderlands film has been released, and a classic Disney game is getting a remake, while a fan-favorite actor will not be making an appearance in the upcoming Captain America film. All this and more coming up on the Weekly Slate. An intense, action-packed trailer for the upcoming film based on the Borderlands video game series was recently released. The film is a treasure-hunting romp as Lilith, played by Kate Blanchett, goes on a quest to find a top-secret vault filled with loot. Rounding out the cast is Jamie Lee Curtis as the scientist Dr. Tannis, Kevin Hart as the mercenary Roland, Ariana Greenblatt as Tiny Tina, Florian Martineau as Tina's Enforcer King, and Jack Black lending his vocal chops to the lovable robot mascot, Claptrap. Borderlands is set to hit theaters on August 9th. With physical media on the decline, some changes are coming to the landscape. Disney is bowing out of producing their own discs and instead are handing over the reins to Sony. Sony was most likely chosen due to their speed and efficiency at producing physical media, which may lead to more of it being produced. Maybe even fast enough to empty the infamous Disney vault? That part is unclear, as Disney will still be involved in what actually goes on the disc. How this will actually affect the two huge media corporations is yet to be seen, but it will be interesting to say the least. If you're ready for more boss battle action, then Bandai Namco has you covered, as more content for Elden Ring has been announced. A trailer for the expansion, titled Shadow of the Erd Tree, was released on February 21st. It follows the player as they go to the Land of a Shadow, where Queen Marika of the Rule of the Land Between Worlds first set foot. The trailer features new areas, enemies, and weapons, and appears to be a full-on expansion of the title. Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree is set to be released on June 1st of this year. Ready to defy gravity? A trailer for a film version of the Tony Award-winning musical Wicked has been released. For those who have never seen this popular musical, it is a different take on The Wizard of Oz that focuses on Glinda the Good Witch, played by Ariana Grande, and the Wicked Witch of the West, Elphaba, played by Cynthia Erivo, as they go through their life at the magic school Shiz, with each of them being vastly different from each other. Look toward the western sky, as Wicked Part 1 is set to fly into theaters on Thanksgiving of this year. Pull out your paintbrush, because Epic Mickey is making a comeback! Originally released for the Wii in 2010, the title will be coming to modern consoles sometime this year. Mickey's back and better than ever with a whole new set of skills and improved controls. A trailer was released during the recent Nintendo Direct, and it is set for a release on Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Lastly, though fans may have been expecting the Hulk to make an appearance in Captain America Brave New World, that doesn't seem to be the case. Mark Ruffalo was vague about his involvement, simply saying he had the movie next and couldn't reveal anything due to Marvel keeping an eye on him. This implied that he may be in the movie, but industry sources clarify that he was referring to the film's release and not his involvement. Sad news for sure, but we look forward to what's in store next for our angry green giant. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the Culture Slate. You can also join our public Discord where we discuss Star Wars, Marvel, and all things pop culture. This is Connor, and I thank you for watching.